Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello there everyone and welcome back. It's day 24. We are getting into the heart of the series. We certainly are. I've got plenty to do today. Do I have my timer up though? It's a good job I realised before I click play. If I seem a bit weird or shaky, it's because I had a bit of lapse earlier. I'm not feeling too well again. But I'm feeling alright at the minute, so hopefully I'm good to just record for the hour. There's nothing too crazy going on today. We're just doing some bursting and shit, so yeah. Fingers crossed. It's all good. We are, of course, going to start with our burbs and herbs. Burbs first. So, yeah, I, I probably will be a little slower today than uh, usually am. Mine's not at 100%, but once we've done with the burbs and the herbs, we'll be pretty much chilling in one spot. I mean, I imagine we'll be leaving to bank quite frequently because we're going to get a lot of drops and we don't have a herb pouch to store them in. I've got the seeds. I'm really excited to get started on bursting and see what our defense XP rates are going to look like. I'm really curious to get a calculation on how long it might take us to get up to 65 defense from where we are at 60. So, fingers crossed we get a good read on that today and we can figure out... Shall I just set a goal for... No, because we want 70 as well, though, that's the thing. So, But I may add it to the canvas. Chuck it down here so I can see it at all times without having to have the side tab open. Okay, back to Ferox again for a reset. Oh, we got another spirit seed. We can take that to the uh, farming guild if we want. <laughs> you know, we only really need one of these each, right? Why don't I just set them all to withdraw one? And that'll save me invent space once I've used them. I guess we'll go outside the POH. Oh, I'm just going to hit this in just to get some defense XP so <laughs> that my thing's not fucked up. <laughs> Oh, but then I should reset my hourly rate. Alright, uh, next one. What? Oh, shit. I didn't mean to come to this one, but okay. <laughs> I'll try to go to the um, one at the fairy ring, Mauritania. Okay, these are the last Renar seeds, so I do need to buy some more, which means I need to be a little careful with my income here, because we were damn near out. Yeah, we've got 140k in the bank, so about 500k once we're done here. But then we need to buy seeds. Oh, we got those other herbs to sell as well, though, don't we? Let's just clean a couple of those. Okay, and then, uh, right, we'll go noted. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. Couple of rubies. Get that cash so I can see how much I've got. Got some cash in as well. Very nice. Okay, now we're looking a bit healthier again. Get some Renar seeds. Get two days worth. Hopefully they buy, if they don't I'll put them up in a little while, but for now we actually want that cash stack to take over to Zaf Staffs. I think we've got enough, I'm pretty sure we've got enough. 30, it's like 2,100 that we want in it. Yeah, 210,000. You know what, we may as well just buy a couple here as well. Get the extra ones, why not? Should have brought two tellies so I could have got straight back, but oh well. Yeah, Zaf Staff's just an extra little daily for us to do, basically. It costs us 210k for these staffs, and we'll get 239k. So it's just a tiny bit of extra money for fuck all effort, like 30k a day for just walking over there, which we like to see. All right, I do want one more space on, oh, one more space, so that I can just get a few blood runes and feel a bit safer, but I'm going to be using them exceptionally sparingly, exceptionally sparingly, I'm not going to put them up, if they don't buy at that price, they don't buy at that price, there they are, okay, time to gear up, gonna take the blood runes, just as a bit of 
that's basically that is my food i'm not going to take actual food i'm just going to take blood runes and then prayer pots that's probably way too many because i'm going to end up banking and i want a dueling and a dig site I'm going to end up banking quite frequently, I think. So I'll bring just... Yeah, I'll, I'll take this and see how we get on with that. Right, let's not waste any time. We'll get onto our smoke burst and go to the dig site. Should get a solid 45 minutes or so of bursting in here. I'm excited. I'm excited to see how quickly this goes up. Hopefully this does not let me down because it's spent a long time building towards it and there's always that niggling thought in the back of your head that's like, what if I... If I calculated something wrong, you know. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this first area. Because the... I was gonna try and get out of the ranged ones. Oh, I just wanna see the tiles. Oh my gosh, I can't see a thing. Which ones are the ranged ones? Because they're the ones I gotta be careful of. Should've brought a little bit of food, shouldn't I? I've already used fucking three blood casts. I don't have the burst yet either, that's the thing. This is actually kind of stress. Okay, I'm gonna untangle. It's not what I wanted to do. Right, so that's a ranged one. We want to kill him, eh? So that's basically how we want to do it. We just want to kill the rangers as soon as we see them. But I don't know where the other one is. So I'm trying to like drag them around so I can see which ones follow me and which don't. There we go. Finally got him. Oh, that's a ranged one as well. Shit. I can probably stay out of his... Oh, he spawns so quick. I don't want both of these on me at once. That seems like a bad time. Okay, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here before I die. Can I just pick up these arrows? <laughs> okay, that was a little sketchy. Let's get a little bit of food. Let's get a little bit of food. We're just getting the hang of things. I wasn't actually planning to stay in that room, so I might not. I might go to the other room that I was planning on using. See if it's better. We're not going to need these prayer pots. Fuck. Let's get one of them. A stamp. And then like 10 crown ones. That'll be fine. Okay. Shaky start. But I'm not worried. I don't really want there to be two rangers that can see me at all times. So I'm going to go to my other spot. I just thought I'd see. Because I hadn't used that one before. The only other time I came here was like on release. So I was using the spot that I was forced into. Because people were in the other spots. And now like... Wait, are these all melee? Because if they are, that's pretty safe. Not one of them's a ranger in it. I can see it. It's that one. I feel like I've got these in a good cluster, so I'm just gonna get my XP out of them. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I've, I'm kind of in a good spot here, and it's right by the entrance as well, which means if banking happens a lot, then that's fine. I don't really have a good way to lure him, though. Maybe just go this way. Oh, you don't come that far this way. Once I got him on this corner, it's fine. Problem is, this is getting a lot more magic XP than defense. About three times as much. I, mean, I suppose that's not too much of a problem, because it'll mean we'll unlock the best spells quicker. But I think we're going to train our magic a lot higher than our defense doing this, which isn't really what I was intending. Yeah, I do like how they're close to here. This is pretty nice spot, just right by the entrance. We've just one ranger to worry about, so it's not too... Heavy on the health. Don't think an Adam Mace is really worth picking up, but I don't think we can afford that. We can't alk it right now, so it'd be a lot easier once we unlock a blood burst to sustain through these. That was the problem with using my bloods before, is I've only got the single target in a minute, so it's not really great for healing up quickly. Do I just lure them over this guy every time? I guess you could have used that as a guide on how to stack enemies. You don't really need a wall. You just run back and forth. I was doing it with shift clicks. You have to like run into them and then run back, basically. So we're trying to gather up around this guy, right? Oh, we got a hard clue. It's interesting. We want him to stack up here, so we attack him. And then we shift click there and straight back. I uh, went one tile too far, but... And then they all just like collapse into a line. There we go. Just by shift clicking so that I walk under them with the menu entry swapper. If you freeze them, it's even easier because then you don't have to worry about the ones you stand on top of. They're just frozen anyway. 
Addy Kite and a Renard weed. Love to see it. I feel like I should look at this clue step. I don't want to do a wilderness clue step. Like, that's just not happening, so we may as well drop that, give us the cells. The opportunity to get more potential hard clues. I don't know how many I'm going to even consider. And I'm going to end up training defense through melee, because this seems real slow. I might have to drop that somewhere else, because it's kind of annoying me where it is. <laughs> just in case anyone's wondering what the magic XP is looking like, we have gained a lot of it in the short time we've been here so far. But the defense not looking quite as hot as I was expecting it to be. I think we could probably get more XP just using melee on defense per hour. Which is a shame. You'd think long range would give you more in defense and less in magic, but no, they just don't. Maybe it's chins that do. The red mist is annoying, I gotta say. It's just like a, a thing that's in the way to <laughs> obstruct your vision and for no other purpose. I mean, I know it gets used in the quest, but after that point, do I really need to see this? I mean, this is great magic training, don't get me wrong, we do need magic levels. It's just we could zero time magic with like alks. We don't need to get them through barraging. There's more planning this as the defense method. <sighs> I'm having second thoughts, y'all. I'm not sure. I don't know how good this is. Because it's very expensive to be here if the rate's not exceptional. I'm, I'm going to do the full day here no matter what, but. <sighs> I don't know. I'm less confident in the plan. I believe they've also just stopped aggro in me, so I will need to reset that. I wonder if using the Laddick counts, if it's enough. I'll find out. I mean, yeah, they all aggroed me straight away, so. Like, my effective hit XP rates are very good right now. We're looking at, like, 90k an hour on, on average. You know, without quest bonuses, that would be strong for us. We usually get 65k in a day, so I had to say usually, that's just like a ballpark figure for, I don't know, I just pulled it out of my ass really. But yeah, I was hoping to see at least like 60k an hour on the defense, because we can get, can't we get like 90k an hour just from Nagua? Like we're not even expected to get a level today, which is weird. Maybe it's just because we're using the lowest level spell as well, that probably doesn't help, does it? Our DPS is not actually as high as I think it is. Not because of doing anything inefficiently, just because we don't have the, the spells yet. I think that might be our first Blood Rune drop, that's nice. Help us sustain those heals when we do use them. We get Blood Burst at 68. I don't know when. Ice Burst is 70 then, I think. It's like it's a long way still. Yeah, some of these hits are not that high, are they? Now I'm actually like looking at the damage splats. Well, some of them are bad, don't get me wrong, but... Not as high as I'm used to, that's all. Problem is the other spells are much more expensive until we get that iced at 70. That being said, you know, the loot's not terrible here. I think we are at least managing to pay for our runes pretty substantially, which is decent. Probably need a bank soon. Low on prayer and out of food and a full invent, so lots of herbs there. These noted planks are certainly gonna stack up as well, will be a nice added bonus. I can't, I can't pick up that card. Is there, a, is there anything I can... Do I really need adamant arrows? No. Right, I'm gonna have to do a little reset, because I can't pick anything up at the minute. Oh, it's so hard to make yourself leave. <gasps> Fuck it, hopefully I didn't just kill one and it drops an axe. We were a bit long resetting anyway, man. Okay, so we don't need stam, we don't need planks. We fill up by the time we have roughly one prayer pot used. So we just need a single prayer pot and a little bit of food to keep us going. And then we'll get straight back out there. Okay, no axe. The adamant arrows are still there, so we know we didn't miss one. <sighs> Do I think I can pick up paralanders? They're too small. This guy's annoying me. Come on. Come on, this way. Oh, stop going down there. Idiot. There we go. I mean, I suppose I could just trap the ranger and then I never have to worry about him. It just means one less that I'm DPS in there. Like if I just trapped him back here. Like I'd never have to worry about food then, but it's not really much of a concern. And there's 64 magic, the first level of the day coming in. Dulls unlockers shadow burst, but soul runes are bloody expensive. For a lot more food this time. Not sure what that's about. I mean, I do have 75 magic as a goal. I just checked on my skills. 
plan. I'm guessing that's for a trident. Yeah, a trident 75. So we've got a lot of magic XP to do. So this might not be the quickest way to get defense levels. But it might be the most efficient because we don't really want to be training melee on defense before we've trained our strength and attack, right? Like, that just feels bad. So because we have to do this anyway to get our magic level all the way to 75, doing this first might be the most efficient way in terms of, like, a route from A to B. This is the correct order to do it in. It's just not the quickest way to actually get the defense levels. It's hard, and I'm going to have to have a think about it and, like, weigh up what my priorities are right now and what is worth doing first. Because I really did want to try and get Chivalry online before doing my melee training. But that could take a while here. I mean, we might not even get a defense level today, which is very disappointing. It's not expecting us to. And yeah, I'd, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed in that. I was hoping we would get a couple. It's just mainly going in magic, as you can see, with the 73k an hour that I were clocking at the minute. I mean, I tell you what, if I see an axe on the floor, that'll make my day better. That'll make me care far less about how, how much defense XP we got. <laughs> the drop rate is 1 in 800, and we've only killed 165 of these cunts, so we are very under it. Do you even know what those fuckers sell for? It is crazy how decent the price on zombie axes are. It's weird, though. The broken ones go for 500k more than the fixed ones, and I don't understand, but it is what it is, and good for me because I can't fix them anyway. Maybe it's like a really good training method or something. Like it would be a massive XP drop for fixing it, I don't know. This is pretty chill as well at least. Oh, I didn't even check this new hard clue we picked up. Oh, I can't open it. Why? Let me open. There we go. Okay, so that's an easy step. We'll keep that. Oh, they've de aggroed by the looks of it. I'm just gonna go out now so they re -aggro. It's not like we lose the damage we already had on so. Wait, did it all de aggro me? That didn't work that time going in and out. Oh shit, what's going on? Maybe there is more there. Should I try around here for a bit? See what it's like. Now that we actually have a little food on us. Because we didn't last time. You can only hit like nine targets anyway, but I think we had eight there, so we could probably increase our DPS kills per S here. I mean, as long as we don't go too close to the other range, he doesn't aggro us, so... It's pretty much the same, but we get extra melees. So I think this is actually a better place to be. Oh, there's their aggro. What if I just hide here? He can't see me. And then we'll just kill him like that. Seems fair. Okay, we are, our XP rate is actually going up being here, so... I feel like an idiot for being over there so long. Did I run our seeds by? Because if not, I need to make sure I get back to the GE. No, they haven't. Do want to make sure I have some of them. I don't know, there's part of me that's somehow convinced we can get a defense level today, but everything is suggesting it's not going to happen. I just feel ridiculous that we haven't even got one when this was meant to be my defense training method. It's been pretty much a full day here. Okay, I'm running out of prayer and HP, so it's not going to be here much longer. Don't really know if there's much point coming back for another trip. Oh, that was a nice big hit. I died! Shit! Oh my gosh, free reset. No time wasted at the Ferox portal, eh? Full HP, full everything. Oh, I tell you what, we can even just pop over to this uh, clue step in Lumbridge Castle, can't we? Talk about overstaying your welcome, though. I mean, we still didn't get a fucking level 5k left. Wilderness Rogue's Castle. I mean, it's not a terrible step. Am I going to go back with my last five minutes, or shall I just go do this? I think I might go do this. My gosh, do I not have a slash weapon? Is it DDS? DDS is a slash weapon. It's a stab weapon. Does it count? Ah, where's the sim? I guess a myth sim will do. Just checking I didn't get the wrong castle and it was actually the one in level 20 we'll do. Today has been a bit of a weird one. We did get a lot of experience, although we'll review it properly at the end. I am a bit torn on how I want to play this going forward though. So if you have opinions, definitely love to hear them in the comments about what your thoughts are. Oh, please no. 
Please no. I don't even know what this guy attacks with. I've never fought him. You gonna let me? Are we good? Cool. Maybe spec. Please die. Please die. <sighs> Did not mean to do that. Let's get the fuck out of it. Gonna have to go this way because the chaos are like. Make sure we don't have another one nearby. No, nope, we got a fairy ring step. That's fine. Take me below 30. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I know I can't go to Ubisk. Oh, but I can, because I was thinking about doing that quest. Okay, I'm going to shove that in the bank for now. That's something we're going to think about. Let's just pop to the GE, sell up what we got from zombies for the day, make sure we get ourselves everything we need for tomorrow, and do a birdhouse run as well. In fact, let's do that first. Forgot the seeds again, didn't I? Good job on Ernest. Bang. Yeah, we might not have time to do much of the GE, actually, thinking about it. Did get a few hundred K, but we also spent a few hundred K in runes there, so hopefully my invent doesn't fill up here on there's a hummer level. 63. Certainly getting all the way up there just from cashing in on our daily birds' nests. A lot of energy actually, aren't I? <sighs> nope. Couldn't have been a genie, could you? Alright, I'll get as much of this stuff for sale as I can. Okay, uh, yeah, I decided not to do anything with the other Nars. I'm just hoping they buy overnight, and if they don't, I'll get some more in the morning. Let's see what coins we got. We did have, like, 140k at the start of the day, so all of this is profit. We've got about 400k worth in the GE of things that we're selling and buying currently, plus... 730k in the pocket, so we made about a mil today, which isn't bad at all, between... Birdhouses, herbs, battle staffs, and just random drops there. We made about a mil. Is that right? That seems insane. Maybe from stuff we were selling yesterday as well that we just collected after overnight. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. So not quite just from today, but, you know, sort of accumulated today. <sighs> I really can't figure out how I feel about this whole thing, y'all. I'm going to need some opinions. Let's have a look at the XP. We did get 110,000. Including 50k magic XP, one and a half levels there, up to 64. We didn't get a single defense level. We got more fucking hit points XP than we did defense XP. How is that fair? So as a, as a defense training method, I'm really not sure about this. It is the most efficient, because like I say, we want 75 magic anyway, so we're gonna have to get this up somehow. And this is the best way to do it. It's just not, I wasn't planning to be here for so long. And if I go all the way to 75 magic here before doing any melee, whilst that is the correct order, it's a long time just to spend here bursting. I really can't figure it out. We killed 244 today, which means theoretically we'll be looking at an axe every four days. And it could take us that long just to get a couple defense levels. But an axe is worth like two mil, so... I really can't make my mind up on what the correct course of action here is. So definitely do leave in the comments any thoughts you have. Whether they're as clear or as confused as mine are. Any little bits of insight might help sway my decision. It's been a weird one. Like, I, I, it, it feels bad to be looking... 111k XP gain today, but I've only got 21k defense. Like, I, I did sick today. I made a mil, I got 100 over 100k XP. By all means, I should be very pleased with today. It just wasn't what, where I was expecting the XP to be. <laughs> and that's like thrown me for such a loop. It's mad. It is mad. Yeah, hope y'all continue to enjoy it. Please do leave a like on the video, it helps out a ton, both promoting me to the algorithm so more people find my content, and also just for letting me know that you're still enjoying what I'm creating. Let me know what the fuck I should do in the comments, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Join the growing family here. It is lovely to see people coming in as and when they do, and new people commenting every every time is nice, and seeing the subscribe count go up. I'm aiming for 500. 500? You can get 500 this year. This year? That's a long time. That's like another seven months. We could definitely do that. By the end of this series, though, would be phenomenal. So make sure you do your part to help out by hitting the button. Perfect plug. No further additions. I'm going to log out while I'm doing good. Take care of yourself. Look after one another.
See you on the next one.